Bothans are probably a familiar species to many Star Wars fans, whether you've just seen the movies or engaged more with the expanded universe, and none had to die to bring me that information. They originated from the planet of Bothui, though they have since spread to call many worlds of the Bothan sector home. While they're famously one of the most prominent members of the New Republic, the relationship between Bothans and other elements of the New Republic often becomes strained. They're largely seen as being power-hungry and operating solely for the benefit of themselves and their kin, most prominently seen in the example of the first Bothan to serve as Chief of State in the New Republic, Borsphalia, who had been a long political rival to people like Leia and Akbar, who themselves were usually seen to be acting for the good of the New Republic as a whole. This characterization is far from universal, however. We've seen many examples of Bothans who eschewed the style of Bothan politics, including the Rogue Squadron pilot and probable Bothan military academy instructor Esir Salar, and then Admiral Trace Griffey, who became the supreme commander of the Galactic Alliance Defense Force. The Bothans played a key role in the defeat of the Empire, generally serving in intelligence-gathering roles as they did with the second Death Star, but even in that dire situation, the Bothans did not reach the highest level of war in their culture. Bothan culture had a type of war that was only declared when they felt their species was threatened, known as Arkrai. When Arkrai was declared, a decision never taken lightly, it became the duty of every Bothan to work towards not just victory, but the utter destruction of their enemy, destroying entire planets or even species before the Arkrai could be called off. Again, even with the hardships they faced under the Empire, the Bothans did not declare our cry, which shows just how serious they thought a threat had to be to declare it. According to Trace Griffey, our cry had only ever been declared three times. Two of those times were against an enemy we never learn about, incidents described in this way by Griffey. We did not cease our Arkrai until our enemies were destroyed to the last individual, their names written out of the histories, and their planets reduced to dust floating on the stellar wind. Jaina Solo and General Kean Farlander were shocked to find out how the Bothans had been responsible for this kind of genocide before. The final instance, though, came with the Yuzon Vong War, and this had some of the biggest implications, where following the fall of Coruscant and the martyrdom of Borsphalia, the Bothans once again declared this form of total war. While the New Republic was successful in ending the war with the Yuuzhan Vong, many Vongs survived on the planet Zonamis Seacot, and peace was achieved between the invaders and the galaxy at large. Unfortunately, the Bothans, once on this path, were unable or unwilling to turn back. Because the Bothans insisted on pursuing the war even further, Crefe had to resign his post as Supreme Commander of the Galactic Alliance military, and a faction of Bothans led by Remois formed the True Victory Party on Bothui devoted to pursuing the destruction of the Yuuzhan Vong. This particular faction of Bothans was crushed by Jason Solo, but in doing so, he pushed the Bothans to rebel against the Galactic Alliance along with the Corellians, who were already organizing. It's unknown whether the Bothans ever gave up their crusade, but it had a defining effect on relations between the Bothans and the rest of the galaxy from the time of the Yuuzhan Vong War for the next few decades at least. This is one of the many things that's done in the New Jedi Order series that adds a bit more nuance beyond just having the clear good and clear bad guys of the war. Even though the Yuuzhan Vong are definitely the aggressors and definitely in the wrong in their invasion of the galaxy, there's some different levels of right and wrong within the New Republic that we don't often see before the New Jedi Order series. This is one of the things that makes me like the series a lot more, but it's also one of the things that tends to make some of the older Bantam era fans uh, a bit more put off by what goes on in these books, though there are some similarities to how Borskphalia is used in the Thrawn trilogy. Either way, that's going to do it for today's video. If you've enjoyed, consider leaving a like, subscribing, or turning on notifications for more. As we go through December, I'm going to do my best to get as many videos out as possible, ranging from our Mandalorian coverage and speculation to some of the more topical videos from Legends like this and the last one about Palpatine and Coruscant. My goal for this week is to have a video every day if I can, on top of the daily videos on my gaming channel Cory Either way, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.